Hi, this is Brian from The Sleeping Elephant. I'm going to review The Sixth Extinction and a Natural History by Elizabeth Colbert. Elizabeth received the Pulitzer Prize for General Nonfiction for this book in 2015. This book is a research book about the past five mass extinctions with the sixth extinction which is caused by human activity. A new word I learned is the Anthropocene. Here is the definition. The Anthropocene is a proposed epoch that begins when human activities started to have a significant global impact on Earth's geology and ecosystems. Elizabeth is a writer for the New Yorker and what she did is she gathered a ton of research from scientific evidence and theories to gather the conclusion that humans are slowly destroying the planet. The book dives into typical global warming information and even maybe even propaganda. There is the age-old affair of nature versus nurture and as well as evolution versus extinction. What is really interesting about the book is how Elizabeth dives into the research of animals and how they have come to their extinction, whether it have been invading species, ice ages, natural selections from bigger animals, and from the asteroid that hit the Earth. And there's a 100-mile crater off of the Yucatan Peninsula, which caused a iridium to be present in many parts of the planet through a dust cloud. Some of the cool animals that Elizabeth goes to are the Macedon, which is related to the elephant, and mammoth, penguins, the auk from Iceland, army ants, the golden toad from Panama, bats, the brown tree snake that invaded Guam, the pterodactyl, and the Irish elk. Another person I would like to research further is the paleontologist and zoologist Georges Cuvier from France, and he did a ton of research. This is back in about the 1700s, 1800s on animals and how evolution got its start up from there being no one believing in evolution to Charles Darwin exploring his theories through natural selection. Another important aspect I learned about the ocean acidification and that is that is like the twin evil of global warming and what that is is really the acidification of the ocean or waterways. This is caused by pollution, human activity, whether it be runoff. Also, the with the warming of the planet, the whole ecosystem becomes changed. One of the spotlights that she did a ton of research on is the coral reefs, especially off of Australia. Another important word that I learned is the latitudinal diversity gradient. And what that means is the plant life is grows where there's a certain hot temperature, which means that the tropics are where all the plant life, animal life, live. It's not going to be in the upper north towards Canada or Russia or on the southern tip near Antarctica. And going back to the coral reef with these temperatures rising, ocean acidification becoming more toxic, something about some calcium is that the theory you know that she's proposing is that the coral reefs really won't be around in about a hundred years, meaning 2100, that it will be severely damaged and will be retreating. And I believe coral reefs are one of the biggest organisms on the planet. They are a living, breathing organism. From my personal life, I've been active in caves. I'm a rock climber, so I go into caves. One of the funguses or diseases, you'd call it, is called the white nose syndrome. When I went to Kentucky, there's the biggest cave, or one of the biggest caves, called the Mammoth Caves. And we had to wear boots and wash everything off when we went into the cave. It's called the Wild Cave Tour. It cost me about $100, but it was well worth it. I learned that everything is connected, that we didn't want to bring in any fungus into the cave, as well as not transfer anything, because the, the bats can die from this simple fungus. So I learned how to be cautious. Bats get a bad rap for being ugly or scary looking, but they're really cool animals if you get to see them in flight and if you go to the Carlsbad Caverns, they have this crazy sunset escape that I did miss, but you could see it online and it's pretty remarkable to see. To close things off, you could check out other books, Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond and Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. I did a review of that book, so you could check out my review on that. I found this book a worthwhile read. I don't take all the facts to heart. I do think there's global warming as well as uh, I think we are slowly destroying the planet. And there's so many people on this planet that, that there's not really much evidence, but there's no reason not to care about animals. I think people are caught up in being in the city and they should go outside. They should go hiking. They should go into national parks instead of having way too much screen time and to be connected with nature. I think many people are disconnected. And I think they're disconnected with reality and they're paying attention more to fantasy, a big delusion that's being sold to them. Also, animals are cool.
That's how I got the name Sleeping Elephant. I do think some of the research can be exaggerated. She wants a hammer in that point, and this is like a radical angle. The sixth extinction is being caused by humans, that we are going to drive ourselves into extinction, and we have no one else to blame but ourselves. Check it out, and thanks for listening.